Brownsville, across from Matamoras. This is the debris from mass migration in just one hot spot on the U.S. southern border. Texas National Guardsmen who patrol the Texas Riverbank call this one the mattress because the layers of discarded clothing and personal belongings here is so thick and rubbery. 10,000 migrants recently crossed here and left an enduring mess that will kill everything beneath it and rob native animal species of their food and nesting grounds. It's a nice cushion, the guardsman quips about the mattress, but he warns that if you fall down, there's no telling what will get on you. There are syringes, diapers, animal droppings, food, personal sanitation products full of chemicals, non-biodegradable trash of every kind, and human waste. And personal documents, identifications left behind lest they get in the way of a fake asylum case story. Debris fields like this one are an environmental hazard fact of life all along the entire border of hotspots like this. They form because crossing migrants don't want to wear uncomfortable wet clothing. All of them bring dry bags or trash bags full of the clothes they'll wear once they're across. The very first thing immigrants do is tear off their wet clothes and step into dry ones. They figure someone else will clean up these messes on sensitive riparian river habitat. But don't expect to see the Sierra Club or other environmental activist groups complain or volunteer to protect sensitive habitats. They are so committed to this immigration and the migrants that they hold their tongues about this sort of thing. Typically, Border Patrol will get to the cleanup using tractors and dumpsters, where all of this will get burned. Hopefully, eventually. So many have crossed and left their debris behind to rot that Border Patrol can barely keep up with even processing them into the country. And so the mattresses will rot for a long time before anyone gets to them. I'm Todd Bensman, Center for Immigration Studies.